Can we fix it? Yes, we can! Well, hidey ho, neighbors. It's been a while. Uh, it's been nothing but clouds and crappy weather here, so I haven't been up to a lot, but the observant among you may notice something different in the shed. Okay, here is the Genmitsu 4040 Pro Max. It was easy to assemble. Uh, came in a box, just all the parts. Most of it was put together. I just had to screw a few things together. Came with the 710 watt spindle. The upgraded X and Z axis. Um, the X, Y, and Z axis are all ran by lead screws so i thought that would be a little better for milling aluminum so they say it's ran with a com extra computer i had at the back that's the old computer that was from my mount when i upgraded to my new one running wirelessly to my home network I installed a new spoil board on top of the one that it came with so I wouldn't be ruining it all the time. I designed a job to cut all the holes in the spoil board. I used a surfacing bit, this one, inch and a quarter surfacing bit to, to run over the whole board to surface it, make it flat. Then I designed another job to cut this grid pattern in the spoil board to help with lining things up. I've been using the masking tape and CA glue, CA glue activator to stick things to the spoil board while I'm cutting. Seems to work well. So far I've been practicing with quite a bit of MDF to get the hang of things. Tried a little aluminum just to make sure it would work. So I think this should upgrade my DIY game quite significantly. So, new CNC machine can only mean one thing. Harmonic drive mount version two. So I have a few ideas on that. We'll talk about that in a second. Uh, I think um, I'll be able to get a lot more precise cuts with this. Before, I was lucky to get within an eighth of an inch with the tools I had. Could be causing some issues, I don't know. Hopefully, cutting all my parts to within thousands, few thousandths of an inch, maybe make it a little more accurate. So I've been using a program called Easel to design things in. Uh, it's, a, it's a free 3D program for CNC machines. They do have a paid version to use their cool stuff. I might have to upgrade to that. I don't know. There's a monthly fee. I'm not really into that. I also use another program called UGS or Universal G Code Sender. That's what I send the G code to the actual machine with, with the computer that's hooked to it. Anyway, let's talk about the new stuff. All right, here are some of my ideas. So, I think I'm going to use a little bit thicker aluminum in a few spots in case there is any flexure or anything in the aluminum. And if you watched any of my other videos on my first build, you know that I used this 14 inch stainless steel rod to connect the harmonic drives to the pulleys. Well, my new idea is I'm going to use 14 inch tube. And this will allow me to run wiring up through the mount. Be like the cool guys, not have any wires hanging off, hopefully. And then my thoughts are that I'll even run my deck axis through this so I don't have the outside wire there. Also, I'm planning on having two USB ports and two RJ11 ports so I can have RJ11 ports up on the Los Mandy part of the mount and also two USB ports and 
power. So I can have some pretty good cable management, hopefully. Okay, so as I said, I've been designing an easel. Seems to be a pretty easy design software. I've been practicing an MDF. So hopefully things will be a little more precise. One of my first designs was I took the CAD drawings for the size 17 mounts that I had sitting around and I did this in easel, cut that out. It's a lot more precise than what I was doing before. The mount drops right in, holes line up. I think I'll be okay on this one. So one of the first things I'm going to be attempting is the alt as part of my mount. That's always, always been the weakest part. Even with my new proxy sky thing I bought, it was a little bit smaller than I was hoping. So I've been designing and cutting out some things in MDF. This is like one of my first iterations. This is where the mount will sit on top. Uh, this will all be made out of aluminum. I, after I made this once, I thought this looks a little small, so I made a different one. I think I'm getting closer. I'll have a lock down there. I think I'm going to make a new one here, make this a little bit bigger on top, so I have something to mount to. And I'll have this sitting on the bottom. Going these, I put the little grooves here so I can get everything straight. That locks right in there. This will be the azimuth controls. And for the altitude, I bought a ball screw. It's way overkill, but I'm gonna make it fit. here some way. I'll have to cut this off a lot, I see. But I'll have this mounted in here. I'll have to just shave the sides off with my CNC machine and I'll make a way to mount it to the sides here so it can rotate a little bit. And that is the mount thus far. Okay, well, Hope you stick around, watch me build my new one. I think it may be a little more work than the last one. I'm gonna take my time a little more, hopefully build a more quality unit. May look a little better, hopefully a little more sturdy, but I guess we'll have to wait till the end to see if it did any good. So anyway, like, share, subscribe if you don't wanna miss anything. There have been a couple of clear nights, so I was able to shoot one galaxy. Take a look at it at the end of the video. I'll talk to you later, and clouds suck.